The bond between animals and humankind has been a long one. Unfortunately, it hasn't always been a positive one on both sides. However, with the awakening of human conscious, we can see great changes happening and love between all species is growing stronger. It seems animals, as well as plants, have been waiting for this moment. They've been waiting patiently for us to appreciate and love them. And finally, we are seeing this is beginning to happen. Our ancestors, with their ancient wisdom, have shown us the way forward, or in this case, the way back, back to basics. We've learned that caging animals and treating them with disregard and a lack of respect sometimes for our own pleasure, is wrong. The great creator made all beings in conjunction with Mother Nature for a purpose. And the purpose hasn't and never was just for the benefit of ourselves. Humankind has now learned to respect wild animals and realise that we can live together in harmony without fear. The saying live and let live is ever true in this case. It can be of no wonder that humans have been attacked in recent times by wild animals. They've lived in fear of humans, and who can blame them when many attitudes have been kill first and ask questions later? They're more in tune with energies and vibrations than us and can feel when we have cruelty towards them, but also when we have love. We've experimented on animals without their permission for our own benefits in order to see if certain diseases can be cured. Why are we experimenting on animals? If we want cures for our diseases, then we must experiment with ourselves and not on other species. Experiments on animals should be left for veterinarians and animal experts who wish to specialize in curing animal diseases, in my opinion. Some would say that farming practices can be cruel, that breeding animals for the sake of eating them and killing them is wrong. We have to consider that many farmers have an understanding and a bond with their animals. They treat them well and care for them, giving them a good life before their time ends. Animals accept and understand this. They're here for a short time, as are we, and there's no escaping this, although some might try. Humans are omnivores, so we can eat both meat and vegetables. We were designed that way by the great creator. Some might say, just because we can eat meat, doesn't mean we should. It's a matter of personal choice and free will, which humans have also been given. So each to their own, with respect to all, for their own personal choices. There's much evidence to show that farm animals, like pets, respond to kindness and love. They need to feel love as much as we do, and they respond accordingly. They work with us, showing us cooperation in conjunction with Mother Nature. They protect us in return, with some animal breeds dedicating and giving their lives for us, such as their strength of character, wisdom and selflessness. They do their duty towards us and show us loyalty. Finally, humans are doing the same and reciprocating. Finally, all species are bonding and we can see the wonderful changes created through love, kindness and cooperation. <laughs>